Hello, everybody. Uh, we got coffee. I got my girl here. <laughs> Sorry, you're eating. <laughs> um, we are having a little like mom daughter pedicure shop date. I just picked her up from school. We're going into the place in North Pole, Elegant Nail Spa. Um, we're gonna get pedicures so our feet are all pretty for the cruise because it is coming up here soon. Also, we've had a really hard time finding shorts for Natalie. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to go into Value Village. And I know they're like overpriced a lot of places, at least the one here in Fairbanks is like crazy. And I don't normally um, shop there just because their prices are so high when you can buy, when you can spend a little bit more and get new. But we don't really have a whole lot of options. So we're really hoping that they're stocked up on shorts because maybe they got a, they had some from last summer they didn't get rid of. That is the plan today. Uh, Lance and I did get our taxes like 95% done, which is something we wanted to have done before we went on vacation because we don't wanna have to come back from vacation and do taxes. Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> that felt really good today. We really, I think we worked on it for like three or four hours and just kind of got it just about there. I'm still waiting on some forms for my income, um, but other than that, I think we're just about done with taxes, which feels so good. If you're wondering what my order is, it is a sugar-free white chocolate Americano with a splash of cream. That's been my go-to for a really long time. Um, not always sugar-free, but you know. All right, let's head in and go get some pedicures. First pedicure I've actually had since I ripped my toenail off. Who remembers that video? I'll throw that one up there. Uh, we went to Anchorage for a little YouTube get together mm -hmm. and Lance and I got pedicures and I had like a, I have like a wonky big toenail. Um, probably would make a killing on Feet Fire. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But the girl was like, oh, let me put a fake toenail on it to make it like match. And for like, I don't know, two days, it looked fantastic. But when I was at the airport, I like rubbed my, foot against my other foot and whoosh, the whole toenail came up. Fake toenail, Ooh. real toenail, toenail and all. So That's nasty. uh yeah it was it was uh it was quite the ending to that trip. She's grown back a little bit. She'll never be the same. It's always grown back like three quarters of the way and it won't like grow over the tip of my toe. But if you see my wonky toe that's what happened. <laughs> Probably TMI for you guys. Okay, way too much feet talk. Let's go get some pedicures. <laughs> Hi, how can we help you? Uh, we wanted to get two pedicures. Do you guys have time for that? Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. ahead and I'll have you guys uh, hand sanitize and sign in. such a fun experience like so it was just a really nice experience sometimes you feel like rushed or um, like just constantly in a hurry when you get pedicures I don't know it was really relaxing it was nice I'm on E my van wouldn't even auto start because my, <laughs> because my gas is so low anyways um, that's what those little ornaments were they had a whole tree as you saw with with um, people's name and phone number and you hang them up and I'm guessing they're doing giveaways. I don't know, it was really nice. My legs are so soft. Um, didn't even know my legs could get that smooth. Also, if you noticed, I have like capris on so I could come and get my feet done, but then I got long socks and long boots, so we call that Alaska fashion. <laughs> you wanna head to Valley Village? Oh, it's so cold. I know I could. Oh, let's let's get gas though, because this is the third time my gas light has come on in the last two days. I got two gallons of gas yesterday because I was like in a hurry. I was volunteering at the kids' school, and so like I hurry up and got two gallons in, and it, my light was still on. So let's get some gas first, and then we'll head shopping. Maybe hit Walmart too to kind of see what they have. Um, because they are not Alaskan, sometimes you can find summery stuff in there. Oh, <laughs> 
we found three items in there that might work. It was only $20 for all three of those, so it's not a huge deal if they don't work out, but um, we'll get them home, wash them, and then try them on. There's definitely like some higher prices in there. Uh, there was a dress for like $43 in there that we probably would have got if it was less, but I'm like, oh. It did have brand new tags on it, but still. I'm like, oh, it's still secondhand. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna go, I think, Walmart? Yes. We're gonna head to Walmart, see what they got, and then probably head home. You guys, they have the Little Debbie's hearts, but they don't have the sugar crystals, so not the same. All right, we found, we found a few things. Man, Valley Village sure makes this place seem a lot calmer. It always seems like really chaos -y in here, and that's why I have such a hard time, but man, Baloo Village be like real hectic in there, so. <laughs> it's, it's making Walmart seem very mild. We found a few pairs of shorts, I'm thankful. Um, that is one nice thing about like box stores is that uh, they are not on Alaska time, so. Uh, we found probably three or four pairs of shorts, which is perfect. It's not supposed to be like crazy hot, um, but it is going to be very warm for us. It's gonna be like 70s to 80s, and uh, it'll probably make the pool much quieter um, for us, but yeah, anyways. Um, worst case scenario, they have clothes for summer. These aren't just like clothes specifically for the cruise. They're gonna be for the cruise and also for summertime. Fam. <laughs> They're all in here. The power is out. This has been like the craziest year for power outages. We've had so many. Um, we came to Pagoda <laughs> because I couldn't even cook dinner if I wanted to. Oh, my buddy. I'm totally cheating tonight. I've been really good on my diet, but tonight is Pagoda. You don't just not have Pagoda, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go eat. Okay, Pagoda was fantastic tonight. Uh, it was a good night for just, it was just, it was just nice to not have to cook tonight, okay? It's been a crazy couple of days, honestly. Tonight, the power was out for almost three hours, like during dinner time, which is crazy because like a few, I don't know, last week, like probably a week ago, it was out for two and a half, three hours as well in almost the exact same time which is so weird. I'm going to end this one. Pagoda was fantastic. Lance and I are going to play some games. Um, that is my favorite thing to do is to just relax. I am in my coat still because the house got kind of chilly. It's it, The power's been back on for, I don't know, maybe an hour and it's only 68 degrees in here. So it's a little on the chilly side. So we're gonna be playing some games in winter coats. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for coming along today, guys, on this little adventure. Um, we at least got what we needed to get. We got some shorts for Natalie, and that was the goal. I even found a pair of shorts. I showed you guys, like, the stuff I got for the kids and everything, but um, honestly, I haven't bought a ton of stuff, but I did get some really cute dresses to wear to, like, dinner and stuff, so I'll have to show you guys that. Thank you guys for coming along. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!